Hello everyone. So this is a quick video that's going to demonstrate how you can connect um, your PABX infrastructure, specifically 3CX with FAPI.ai. Now, um, the first thing you need to note is you cannot connect um, 3CX with FAPI directly uh, because 3CX, in order to register with a SIP trunk, requires authentication via proxy headers and that's um, something that VAPI does not support yet. It's in their roadmap uh, for a couple of months, but not yet. So um, the way we can connect 3CX to VAPI is using Twilio as a SIP bridge. So this is in essence the infrastructure, how it should connect. Uh, and remember that when you are creating a SIP trunk with uh, 3CX, it should be the termination and the origination should be with VAPI. I'm going to quickly uh, show you how to, to do that. Uh, and I'm running it via a PowerPoint because I wanted to not show the production information. So step number one is you'd actually need to go and generate a SIP URI. And if you just Google um, VAPI.AI Notion, inbound guide then it will show you a document on how you can uh, register a SIP URI with VAPI so you get your own uh, SIP phone number uh, SIP URI at SIP.VAPI.AI there's a guide on, uh, I'm, I'm not going to cover on how, um, that because you know uh, so there's a guide on how to create your own SIP URI with, with VAPI uh, all you need to do is Google SIP URI or um, VAPI inbound SIP guide and, and you'll find it. So you create your SIP URI, that's the first uh, step. And then you'd come into 3CX and create a SIP trunk. And you do that by going into, um, I'm using version 20, so voice in chat and you would click on add a trunk and select uh, countries worldwide and Twilio as the provider and once you do that you will be asked to pass on your um, account ID, um, SID and token which you will get from Twilio and once you so in on, on the Twilio dashboard you have your account SID and token so you can copy and paste them there and once you do that um, this is what your SIP trunk should look like once it's registered. So you'll have um, the name and the, the important bit is in the main main trunk, you should put in the phone number that you got from Twilio. Uh, not necessarily, but uh, yeah, it will, the installation script in 3CX will automatically assign a SIP user ID and an authentication password for you. And your, uh, based on what SIP ID you choose in Twilio, it will be the id.pstn.twilio.com that's what you have to remember so once you've created a SIP trunk the next thing to do is to create outbound rules for that SIP trunk and in the outbound rule configuration um, you will need to put in uh, the name of the rule whatever it is and then maybe like a dial pattern so if you're using an extension then you'd need some kind of a dial pattern like you know when you dial six five times uh, it can that's a trigger that connect you to uh, vapi.ai from your extension so you you can dial the pattern and uh, if it's a five digit number you can strip the first five digits and in the prepend you have to put in the phone number you have you get from twilio so that's what should be in the prepend and that's what can be in the um caller id as well so just remember these settings um you just need to prepend the phone number that you get from Twilio and the outbound call ID from there. So that's it for the configuration in 3CX. Um, so the last step I wanted to show you was um, how to set up the um, origination. So you log into your Twilio console, go into the origination settings and add a SIP trunk and then you would put your um, URI that you got from VAPI over here and give the priorities as is and so that will set up your origination. Now what happens here is 
the three CX is the termination. Um, it your call from your extension comes to Twilio, and from Twilio automatically uh, it will forward it to Vapi. So that's it. I hope you find it useful. Oh, one more thing is I wanted to refer um, the SIP inbound guide. This is the one. So this is the first step again. So you need to make a curl request and put in uh, the information uh, about here and choose your SIP URI that you want to register from for VAPI. And then just run this curl request and you will be issued a URI from VAPI. Hopefully that helps. Um, yeah, that's it from me. Enjoy. Ah, one more thing. Um, just wanted to demonstrate that it works. So you saw my dial plan was uh, 999. So if I click on my phone number and dial 999, hopefully. Hi, Mary. Um, I'd like to book an appointment, please. You've reached Dr. Joy's dental clinic. Yes. Thank you. My name is Isar. I'm going to hang up now. Bye bye. She's persistent. Thank you.